Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with one week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock. Visit www.interpower.com for more information. Today in Engineering Newswire, we're scanning balloon dogs, rescuing swimmers with robots, protecting our wine collections, and riding the world's tallest, wettest, fastest water slide. I suppose it's not the wettest. I mean, how can one slide be more wet than the other? But I suppose if it's... Waiting for a lifeguard while you're drowning could be a thing of the past. No more lifeguards. Aww. Well, PARS, an aerial robot designed by RTS Research, has been tested to show that it's not only faster, but more efficient than a traditional lifeguard. Traveling at up to 10 meters per second with a 4.5 kilometer range, PARS is operated by remote from the shore or rescue vessel. Using an FLIR thermal camera and a few well-placed LEDs, PARS can relay search information back to the controller to aid in rescue. Once the octocopter reaches drowning victims, it drops one of three life preservers to aid them until a proper lifeguard or vessel can navigate to the premise, while the PARS can autonomously navigate back to its station for recharging. Now, this thing is impressive and could help revolutionize aquatic robotic rescue, but I'm not investing until it can save me from this. <laughs> I'm just saying. Some people stand in the darkness, afraid to step into the light. Some people. No, fine, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. What 17 story feat of engineering has tourists salivating for summer? The world's largest Lego tower? No, oh, that was 12 stories. Amateur hour here. Coming soon to a Kansas near you is Barooped, a 17-story water slide that plans to blast ill-fitting swimsuits off of adrenaline junkies at 65 miles per hour. German for insane, fitting, Barooped will make Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City home to the tallest water slide in the world. Google says I can make it there in 7.5 hours, but I think we can do it in seven. pd and summer road trip. After the initial drop, the four-person rafts will then be propelled up and over a five-story hill before hitting the end of the line. Look at that view. Awesome! Verruckt is the brainchild of Jeff Henry, a Schlitterbahn co-owner who has designed a number of water park innovations, like the uphill water slide technology used on this attraction to get riders up and over that five-story hill. Final specs have yet to be released, but the company said it will take riders 264 steps to reach the top of the slide, which should edge out the current tallest slide in the world, Insano. The Brazilian attraction that tops out at 134.5 feet and shoots riders down at 62.5 miles per hour. 62? Chumps. Growing up, I remember taking a few wine bottles from my parents' collection. Trust me, my daughter is not going to get away doing the same thing. Shutting it down. Now wine aficionados and parents can protect their collections from power outages, cellular malfunctions, temperature swings, theft, underage drinking, light, open doors, label damage from high humidity, and cork crumbling due to low humidity with the Alertus Wine Protection System. Using a smart sensor, the system constantly monitors wine and liquor collections and sends alerts whenever something important happens. According to Alertus, there are four elements of wine cellar protection, theft, temperature, humidity, and light protection, which are tracked by the smart conventional door sensor and micro door sensors. Information is then sent via a smartphone app, giving users the opportunity to keep an eye on their collections no matter where they are. Thank goodness, finally something to protect my three buck chuck. Watching you, Annabelle. Artist Jeff Koons created a balloon dog, a massive sculpture that Christie's recently sold for $58.4 million. $58.4 million for a giant balloon dog. Koons worked with Envision to laser scan the original pup and produce a 3D CAD model that he used as a template to create full-size sculptures in an array of colors. The stainless steel design stands 12 feet tall, but it was created by scanning a simple pink balloon. Envision actually had to paint the transparent balloon white, so their Digibot 3D scanner would have a reflective surface to read. 
As Steve Kerson, Envision's VP of Sales and Marketing recalls, my first thought was, why on earth would someone want a balloon animal scan? You're not alone, Steve. You're not alone. Then again, Coons also did this fine work. And this one, what has the Pink Panther got himself into this time? Scandalous. Oh, and what is that child doing to that pig? A man 3D scans a balloon dog and it makes more than I would if I worked a full millennium. You know what that means. pd and Balloon Challenge. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the pd and channel, I'm Chris Fox, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Some